Hi everybody, this is Miss Murphy. Um, I am going on to the next step for your final personal mantra design. So I am going to do a watercolor wash demonstration just in case you decide that you would like to apply a watercolor wash before adding your fonts and your text onto your final paper. So you were given watercolors in your packet of art materials. What you will need is a brush. You will need water and your fabulous watercolors. So when you create a watercolor wash, you are essentially creating a diluted um, wash of watercolors on your background by applying water to the surface of your paper first. So what you want to do is first take time, sorry I had a little bit of paint on there, to wet your paper is your first step. And then your next step is to pick your color of choice and I am picking the green color here, and then I'm going to apply it to the top just like so. Now you could, you could incorporate more than one color, but as you can see, it's diluting the watercolor. And as I keep going, it's kind of light, but I apply water to the paper first then I apply my paint. And I don't want my watercolor to necessarily touch the edge. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge as well. And I can always go back in and make it a little bit darker if I want to. I can even, so I just want my edges to be seen. I'm actually gonna add one more color in here, which is my turquoise blue color here. And sometimes I like to blend colors to create a little more transition or variety on my paper. And you do want it to be seen, but obviously you want it to be slightly diluted, meaning lighter. There's usually more water when something is diluted. And with watercolor, the less water, the darker, the more water, the lighter it's going to be. So as you can see, I am lightening, or I'm sorry, applying water first. Don't overdo it with the water. And then I have another thing that I like to do sometimes. Um, if I want it to dry faster, I will take a hair dryer, which I'm going to do after this, I'm going to take it downstairs and put a hair dryer on it, dry it up so that I can start drawing my lettering on top of my paper. And then I can start my personal mantra design. And there you have it.